So if you watched the first video, we did a calculation where we took our H plus concentration and we turned it into our pH. Now we're going to do the exact same calculation, but we're going to use the pOH scale instead of the pH scale. The reason we use the pOH scale is because it allows us to convert from our OH minus concentration to pOH. So if you remember from yesterday's video, um, those scales run in opposite directions from each other. So um, if you have a low pH, so like a 1 or a 2, you're going to have a very high pOH. Um, so it just is the opposite scale. It's going to allow us to do this calculation a little bit easier. So if we look at this calculation, it's still the same formula. So we're going to use the negative log of our OH minus concentration gives us our pOH. Okay. So if you get confused, just remember to match up. If we're looking for a pOH, we're going to use our OH minus concentration. If you're looking for a pH, you're going to use your H plus concentration. So I'm going to put my number in because up here it tells me I have 2 times 10 to the negative 9th molar OH. So I'm going to do negative log of 2 times 10 to the negative 9th to get my pOH. Again, I'm going to put this into my calculator. So negative log 2 times 10 to the negative ninth, close parentheses, enter. So in this case, I'm getting a pOH equals, so it looks like it's 8.698, so 8.6, 8 8.7, oops, is going to be my pOH value. So in this case, I'm just above neutral, so this is going to be an acidic solution.